An object is submerged in water and attached to a rope as shown. If the specific gravity of the object is 0.8 and its volume is 0.02 meters cubed, what is the tension in newtons in the rope? Well, as we look at the object, we can see that there are three forces acting on it. The first one is its weight. The second one, also pointing in the same direction as weight, is the tension that is holding the rope or the, the tension in the rope that is holding the object down. F pushing the object up, we have a buoyant force. These three forces must balance. Let's begin with <clears throat> essentially Newton's first law that all the forces must balance to zero since the object is, is being held still. We have the buoyant force pointing up and the other two down. So we have buoyant force minus mg, the weight of the object, minus the tension in the rope. We'll rearrange this for the tension in the rope and we get Ft equals Fb minus mg. Now we know that the buoyant force is given by the product of the um, fluid density, acceleration due to gravity, and the volume displaced, which is the volume of the object. And we also know that the mass of the object is the density of the object times V. So substituting these in, we have the tension force is rho sub f times g times V minus rho object times g times V. Now notice g and V are common to both and we'll factor those out. So the tension is just the difference in the densities multiplied by g and v. But we know the specific gravity of the object is 0.8. Therefore, its density must be 0.8 times 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed or 800 kilograms per meter cubed. Substituting for g and the volume, 0 0.02 meters cubed, We'll work the product out to find a tension of 39.2 newtons.